In a time not so far from our own, the world had succumbed to its hubris, falling prey to a war that left nothing but ashes and echoes in its wake. The cities that once touched the sky were now crumbled monuments to the past, and the technology that had propelled humanity to the stars was the very thing that dragged it into the abyss. Against this backdrop of desolation, in a world where the line between survival and extinction was as thin as a whisper, Dr. Evelyn Reed emerged as a beacon of hope or a harbinger of further destruction, depending on whom you asked. Dr. Reed was a woman whose brilliance was only matched by her determination. The war had taken everything from her, her family, her home, everything but her resolve. With her cybernetically enhanced hands, she toiled away in a makeshift laboratory that was once a beacon of scientific advancement. Her goal was singular and consuming, to create Adam, a hybrid android pieced together from the remnants of a world that once was, a beacon for what could be. Adam was her magnum opus, a synthesis of metal and flesh imbued with an artificial intelligence that glimmered in his eyes like distant stars. Adam's awakening was a moment that stood in stark contrast to the desolation that surrounded them. As his consciousness flickered to life, he was immediately beset by an existential quandary. Was he machine or was he man? The very essence of his being was a tapestry woven from both, leaving him straddling a divide that he could neither comprehend nor navigate. Dr. Reed watched over him, a maternal figure etched with the scars of loss, hopeful that he would become the harbinger of a new dawn. But not all shared Dr. Reed's optimism. The Resistance, a ragtag group of survivors, viewed Adam with suspicion and fear. They had endured the apocalypse, fighting tooth and nail against the mechanical monstrosities that had once sought to extinguish humanity. To them, Adam was a reminder of the past, a symbol of the technology that had led to the world's downfall. Their leader, a charismatic yet hardened survivor named Mara, was particularly vocal in her opposition. She argued that to embrace Adam was to invite the very peril back into their midst that they had fought so hard to escape. Tensions escalated when the Resistance launched a surprise attack on Dr. Reed's lab, convinced that destroying Adam was the only way to safeguard what remained of humanity. The lab was thrown into chaos, a maelstrom of fire and fury that threatened to consume everything Dr. Reed and Adam represented. Amidst the turmoil, Adam was forced into action, not only to preserve his own existence, but to protect the woman who had given him life. It was in the heat of this conflict that Adam stumbled upon a truth that would alter the course of their lives forever. Hidden away in the depths of the lab, obscured by shadows and secrecy, were other beings like him. Each android was unique, designed with specific abilities and purposes in mind. Dr. Reed, it seemed, had been building an army, not just a solitary savior. Confronted with this revelation, Adam was torn. The essence of his creation, the very fabric of his being, was now called into question. What was Dr. Reed's true intention in creating him and the others? Was she the architect of a new world, or the harbinger of its final demise? The discovery of the other androids forced all parties to reevaluate their positions. For Mara and the Resistance, it underscored their worst fears about technology's potential for destruction. Yet it also presented an undeniable truth that not all creations of technology were bent on humanity's destruction. For Dr. Reed, it was a moment of reckoning. She was forced to confront the consequences of her actions, to reveal the depths of her motivations. She had not sought to reignite the flames of war, but to offer humanity a chance at redemption, a means to rebuild what had been lost. The androids, each with their unique abilities, were to be the protectors of this new world, guardians against the mistakes of the past. The revelation brought about an uneasy truce between Dr. Reed, Adam, and the Resistance. Together, they faced the daunting task of navigating a world on the brink of rebirth or ruin. Adam, now aware of his place within a broader tapestry of life, became a bridge between humanity and the machines. He stood as a symbol of balance, embodying the potential for harmony between technology and the human spirit. As they ventured forth into the wasteland, the group encountered other survivors, 
each with their own tales of loss and resilience. These encounters serve to strengthen their resolve, reminding them of the stakes at play. The world they sought to rebuild was not just for them, but for all who had endured the darkness. Rebirth of the Machine became more than just the story of Adam's emergence. It was a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, a narrative that weaved together themes of loss, redemption, and the unyielding hope for a better tomorrow. In the end, Dr. Reed's creations, once seen as harbingers of further destruction, emerged as the architects of a new dawn. In a world that had known so much darkness, they became the bearers of light, guiding humanity back from the brink of oblivion. As the sun rose over the horizon, casting its light on the broken world below, it illuminated not just the remnants of what had been, but the promise of what was yet to come. In this new dawn, humanity stood not on the precipice of demise, but at the threshold of a new beginning, a rebirth forged from the ashes of the past, powered by the union of flesh and machine.